Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to use uh, Access to create what's called a crosstab query. So I've got a database here set up, and it's got, so it's got a good number of records, but it's relatively simple in structure. There is a table of employees where we have uh, 300 employees under contract. There's a table of tasks, which are different kinds of tasks that employees might do for a client. Oops, let me cancel that. Yes, I will close that. And we also have a jobs log, which cre which keeps track of whenever a, uh, an employee goes out on an assignment. Uh, we keep track of the date, the employee that did it, the client that they were taking care of, uh, the task ID in question, the time the job start, the time the job finished. There you go. I don't have a client's table, and that's I'll have that in a separate database. All of this, and we've got one query here too, keeping track of jobs, time, and cost. And basically, this query uses a calculation to look at the time and hours of the particular job and calculate the job cost based on the pay rate. So we know that a particular employee, what day and time they were at a location, what kind of tasks they were doing, and how many hours they spent there, and what the cost of that particular job was. Now what I want to do is I'm going to create a crosstab query because I'm curious, for instance, if I take one of these employees, uh, for instance, uh, Mariah Klein, they did some programming work on January 2nd. But on other days they may have done other things, different kinds of work. Maybe they did some networking or maybe they did programming on other days. So I really am curious about each employee's total job cost, especially how it breaks down for different kinds of tasks. And that's what I'm going to use my crosstab query for. So I'll go ahead and close this. And I'm going to head over to the Create ribbon. And for this particular query, because it's a little bit trickier, I'm going to take, I'm going to use the Query Wizard to kind of run through the steps. So I'm going to use Query Wizard. And Simple Query Wizard is probably what you use most of the time, uh, but for those I generally just go to Design View. But the Crosstab Query Wizard is going to make our life a little bit easier. So I'm going to do a Crosstab Query Wizard. Click OK. Uh, which table or query contains the fields you want? Well, I'm not basing my Crosstab Query off of a table per se. I want to base it off of a query that I've created earlier. You can do a cross-tab query based off tables or queries, or list both of them if you want them all as a group. But um, I'll explain this more in a second. You need certain kind of fields for a good for a good query, for a good cross-tab query. So I'm going to choose my job times and cost query. Which fields do you want as row headings? Okay, so basically I'm looking for all of my individual employees. And keep in mind, I've got about 300 employees, so I would expect almost 300 rows of data. Those are going to be my rows. It may not be exactly 300, because I could potentially have some employees that have never worked or never done a job yet, or at least don't have anything recorded. So I shouldn't have more than 300 rows, but I'm really interested in my employee information. So I'm going to go ahead and display my employee ID, my employee's first name, and my employee's last name. And notice I can select up to three fields. I don't want to go more than three here. So those are the three basic fields I'm interested in for my employees. Then I'm going to click Next. Now, which field's values do you want as column headings? Now my advice for this particular field is you want to use a field that has a limited number of possible results. I'm going to end up using my task name because for this particular database I've only got like five or six tasks at the most. I think I think five. You know like networking, web development, database management, those programming. So I've got a limited number of results. Other good fields with limited results, let's say it's a movie database and you wanted to compare data based on movie ratings, you know, maybe you would go like the MPAA rating would be your field that would be the column headings because it has a limited number of possibilities, R, PG, PG-13, and so forth. What would not be a good field is something that would produce lots of columns because for each possibility there's going to be a column created. Uh, for instance, customer's outstanding balance wouldn't be a good column, I would think, because there could be a huge, you know, just a bunch of variations for that that really wouldn't produce any real practical information. So just put a little thought. Uh, maybe you want to check 
customers or stats by city, that could be good, even if you potentially have a lot. But if it's a regional area, maybe you've only got 5, 10, 15, 20 cities that would possibly be possibilities. But I'm going to use task name. It's the field that I know has values that I want to use as my column headings. So task name, next. And then what number do you want to calculate? Okay, so this is why I based this off a query as opposed to my uh, one of my tables, because I know this query has my job cost calculation, and that's really what I'm most interested in. So I'm going to do my job cost field, and I'm going to sum that because I'm interested in totals. I'll hit next. It's giving me a generic name for my cross tab query, perfectly fine for us. So I'll leave that as the default and click finish. And this is my cross tab query. Now I can't really see all my stuff, so let me just auto fit my columns here, just so we can kind of check things out. All right, and now we have a cross tab query. I have, by the way, it's at the very bottom of my screen. I have 295 records which means five of my 300 employees don't have any job recorded, don't have anything in the jobs log. But otherwise, now we can see the results of this. For instance, um, you can see my, my first employee, li employee listed here, Areli Ayala. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Over the jobs log period, which I think is like January through May I have on here, she did three types of work, that DB management, graphic design, and some web development. And I can see the total for her web development work, the total for her graphic design work, and the total for her database work. And I also see the grand total that this particular employee was able to bill a client. So that can be very useful information. And of course, we can see this for all of our various employees. We can see how much they did for each kind of job and what the grand total of this. Now, this is really not good formatting, but this isn't, this isn't, the, end, this isn't the end of the show. Ideally, you would then create a report based off of this cross-tab query, and then you could use some nice currency formatting. Yes, you could jump over to a home and design view, and you could, of course, do a little bit of formatting here with your properties panel, but the most ideal way would be certainly to create a report and make this a little bit more presentable with currency values and um, maybe some formatting that way. So that's a cross tab query and this is an example of why you might want to use it. With a field that has a set number of results or values and you want to kind of compare aggregates uh, which are averages, sums, totals, counts for various individuals or customers or things like that. So have fun with this one.